Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to insert some data into an Azure database using SQL Server Management Studio. I've already connected to my Azure database server from my SQL Server Management Studio and the table I want to insert data into is called the product table which is this table here so these are all the columns from this table called product I'm going to be inserting some data into some of these columns to save some time I've added the query to the query editor that will insert some data into the product table so to insert data into a table you use the insert into and then you specify the table the name of the table is called product on line one here and it belongs to the schema called sales lt and these are the columns we are going to insert data into the values here on line number nine has to correspond to each of the columns specified above for example on line number 10 here my new product is going to be the value for the product name on line number two and then line number 11 this value is going to be the value for product number on line number three and so on on line number 16 i have the get date function the get date function is going to return the current database system date and time so i'm ready to execute the query I click on the execute button and if everything goes okay you should have this message that says one row affected which means it has inserted one row of record into the table called product to view the record I just inserted into the database table I'm going to open up a new query window so I click on new query and I'm going to add a query I've just prepared so basically what this query is saying is that it's going to select every column from this table called product where the name matches my new product so it will only return records that matches this value so i'm going to execute the query i should only have one record so you can see here the product id this is automatically generated so product id is 1000 you can see these are the details of the record are inserted the name of the product is called my new product in this video i inserted a new record into one of the database tables called product thanks for watching